Hey guys, what's up? Matt Shark right here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pretty much set up your RGH console online and everything and set up the computer. Everything you need pretty much just to get it online. Um, I'm not showing you guys how to like do any mod menus or host online or anything. I'm just showing you guys how to get it online and all that good stuff. And here's my setup right now. I need to clean it, but like, oh well. And then here's my RGH console. It's nothing fancy because uh, I haven't wasted time on myself to make it look good, but um, it's a RGH1 Jasper with a Cool Runner FC installed. And uh, if you guys would like to purchase a RGH console, then check me out on um, Instagram. Here's my Facebook page or my account. And then my Facebook page is actually Sharky's Customs. Let me show you guys real fast. Right here. Here's my Facebook page and then my Instagram. You can check out all my consoles. I do um, send ins. I can RG to your console if you send it in to me. And then um, I sell consoles too. I sell on eBay also. And then here's my YouTube and all that good stuff. And this is actually what you're going to be downloading right here. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so what's up, everyone? We're on the Xbox now. And what I'm pretty much going to be showing you guys how to do is you're going to uh, just uh, format and customize your uh, flash drive. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to settings and then system and then storage and go down to USB storage device. Make sure you plug your USB flash drive in, then you're going to click on that and then uh, click customize. And I'm going to do about 12.5 gigabytes. And what's that? What that is going to do is it um, it's going to let your Xbox only use 12.5 gigabytes, so the other um, one and a half gigabytes it's going to let your computer use only those one and a half gigabytes or whatever is left on the flash drive. So um, just click configure. Also, if you use um, all of your megabyte on your uh, flash drive, it's not going to let you transfer the files onto your flash drive for your Xbox. So that's why I left like a couple gigabytes on the flash drive. So the um, flash drive is now configured and everything. I'm going to move over to the computer now. Alright, so what's up? Now that we're on our computer, we can um, plug our flash drive in now. And um. What you're actually going to be downloading is you're going to be do downloading uh, Xbox 360 Neighborhood Horizon and then these two files and I'm going to have all this in the description to download and um, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, you're going to move XDX menu and so we're going to open up Horizon and then we're going to um, transfer this over to here. Actually, that's what you don't do. Sorry, let me correct myself. If you drag the file over here, you're going to get this. It's going to say denied. And a lot of you guys mess up on that, almost like I did. But um, you're actually going to move this over here, just that file only. And it's going to pull up that and you're going to save the device which I already have it on here so I don't need to do that and then go to demos and just make sure it's in there then once it's in there uh, you can close this and then we're going to go and we're going to transfer these two files to the flash drive so just drag those right there and which I've already have those on there so I don't need to do it again and then um, you can close that and you're going to take this um, let me open this back up actually you're going to drag this file you're going to drag it right to the hard drive and inside this is um, these plugins and uh, this plugin right here is to connect um, Xbox 360 neighborhood to your uh, Xbox and it's going to be pretty much wireless and what Xbox 360 neighborhood does 
is it um it lets you pretty much transfer files from your computer to your Xbox wirelessly or over the internet or whatever and um so I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up and everything but um so yeah just move that file to your flash drive and make sure all these are on it right there and then so I'm gonna meet you guys on the Xbox now and just show you guys what to do from there alright so what's up guys now that we're on our Xbox we can go over to um, settings and then storage again and then uh, plug your flash drive in which I just did right now so then um, memory unit and then you're gonna go to demos XCX menu and you're gonna copy that to your uh, hard drive your main hard drive that you use and then um, yeah it's I already have it on there so I don't need to do that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to games then XCX menu 1.2 Then it's going to load up XCX menu. And um, I already have a bunch of files on this hard drive. So you, you guys probably won't, but um, yeah, so to select hard drives and your USB and everything, you're going to click X and then this is your main hard drive, HDD1, and then this is your USB or flash drive. And then here's what's on my hard drive already. I got a bunch of stuff. And uh, but mainly if you click RB and LB it shows you different stuff that you can choose from or whatever it just takes you different places and right here your IP address you're gonna need that for uh, Xbox 360 neighborhood so write that down every time you put a new KV on which I'm gonna show you guys how to do um, it changes your IP address so you have to um, go in Xbox 360 neighborhood and create a new uh, JTAG setup or whatever and um, I'll show you all that in a minute but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna go to USB and we're gonna click Y and we're gonna uh, we're gonna copy freestyle dash and then dash launch we're gonna copy both of those so click Y press copy then go to hard drive then press Y and then paste right there and then um just do that for both of those files right there and uh for these the plugins what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to copy every single one of these one by one onto the hard drive and um i'm actually gonna copy this one and once you copy all these plugins to the hard drive you're gonna copy launch i and i and you're gonna um, paste that into the hard drive and see if I have one, no I don't. All right, so paste that. And then once you guys uh, did all that, you're gonna um, load up dash launch. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, to load all my stuff that I have set up because like you have all these network files and everything that have to be disabled and everything and you know that just takes time to do and so what the launch any does or whatever it's called it, um, it lets you just load it all so you don't you guys don't have to select all of that and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hover over uh, HDD and as you can see if you move like if you don't move your controller at all that little menu on the right pulls up and it shows you how to use stuff and dash launch pretty much and we're gonna click A and then we're gonna click X to save it and then if you click uh, LB and then go to plugin, plugins it's gonna show you that um, all the plugins are there already and they're all set up 
The same for network, all the stuff is set up and enabled and disabled and everything you need. And then, um, so if you try to connect online right now, if your console has never been online, it should be online right now. Like, if you actually try to connect, my console is actually banned because of my KV is, uh, it took a crap on me, so, but, <laughs> um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm actually going to show you guys Freestyle Dash before I go to the computer. There's nothing really special on Freestyle, Freestyle Dash that you guys really need to know, but, um, I'll just show you guys what it looks like and stuff like that. So here's Freestyle Dash, and um, this is uh, DVD extract, extract. What it does is you put a game in your Xbox, and then if you click it, it will open your Xbox tray, and then click OK, it will close it, and then it will read the disc, which I don't have a disc in it right now. But um, it's going to say right here, start copy, and then it's going to save the game to your hard drive, and you have to change the path to HDD1 and then no, I'm sorry games I'm pretty sure it's one of those you guys can look up another tutorial but it pretty much saves the game to your hard drive and all that good stuff and then I added some skins for you guys I added Venom and then uh, Dash RT Venom is a pretty cool um, skin and then Dash RT is like an Xbox One skin and um, to change your skin, what you do is you go in here, then you click X to customize skin, and then you can change the background and stuff like that. And uh, if you press Y, you can go into a like a total um, a total edit mode or whatever, and you can click A to edit the tab, and then. Um, if you move your uh, left thumbstick over, it changes a bunch of stuff like that. And you can choose. And then if you click X, it applies it. And then if you press Y, it changes the entire dash to what you selected. And then you press uh, Start to save it all. And then... My bad, I should have saved it right there. But you guys understand how to do it, so, um, yeah, now that that is there, um, I'm gonna go to the computer and show you guys how to use, uh, Xbox 360 neighborhood. Alright, what's up guys? Alright, so we're on the computer now, and, um, what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be installing the Xbox 360 neighborhood. So, in the description of the video, um, there's going to be the link to download this by Mediafire and um, so download that and you're going to get this and um, you're going to open this up and it's going to tell you to install it and everything and so install it and um, it's going to take a while it's probably to download because it's a it's a pretty big file just like I said before and um, so wait for it to download and open it up uh, install it and everything then you're gonna get this and so let's move this out of the way and you're gonna get Xbox 360 neighborhood and you're gonna click add Xbox 360 and you're gonna click next and then remember the IP address on your Xbox that I showed you guys earlier so you're gonna type that in it's one nine 192.168.1.10 you're gonna click next and then this is important right here so let me explain to you guys uh, if you click no and you have some um, say you have uh, I'll just open these up they're um, tools or mod tools for like black ops 2 and stuff
All right, so this tool right here, it's uh, you connect it to the Xbox, and those plugins that you installed on the Xbox is what is actually going to help connect the neighborhood, and it's going to help connect the mod tools to your Xbox. So if you don't select the yes as your default um, Xbox 360, the uh, tool is not going to connect to your Xbox, and it's going to give you like an error or something. It's gonna give you error like that because it's uh it can't connect. So so I click yes right there, and then click next, and then click finish, and then uh in neighborhood you're gonna see this. It's gonna say JTAG, and it's gonna have that little mark right there. If it has a question mark right down here somewhere or somewhere, um it what that means is your IP has changed and it can't find the Xbox anymore so usually it will change when you put a new KB on which I'm going to show you guys how to do and um, so click that and then uh, hard drive and then it's going to pretty much show you guys um, all the files that are on the Xbox right now and so yeah that's pretty much all for um neighborhood but uh i'm gonna show you guys how to put a kv on it's pretty dang simple but um i'm gonna show you guys the xbox right now i'm not gonna like switch over to it but right now if i try to connect online it's gonna say my console is banned because of uh let me get this alive. Yeah, it's gonna say it's banned, and that's because my KV's banned and everything. So I'm just going to. Um, here's what you do. So when you buy off a KV seller, um, they're gonna send you a link, and or not a link, but they're gonna send you it through Facebook or Kick or something, and then you download it, and then you're gonna get something like this right here. And this is a, this is the KV that I downloaded. It's unbanned KV, and um, I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. But here's a KV checker that I have um, used before. And what you do is you pretty much there's already KV in it. And what you do is you let me delete this. Once you, you put your KV in the KV file, my freaking mouse won't work, but you put it in the KV file, and then you're going to click this program, and you're going to click run, and it's going to do this, and it's what it did there was it, it was checking the servers, so then go back in the KVs, and then click log, then right here it's going to say either unbanned or banned, and this is already a banned KV that I have in there, so just get out of that. And I might put this in the description download, I'm not sure yet. But, um, so what we're going to do to put a new KV on is you're going to click this and then, um, open neighborhood back up. And it's as simple as this you drag it over to neighborhood. Then click yes to replace all. And what it did was it just replaced the old KV with the new one that is unbanned. So, um, yeah, well, I'm gonna turn my Xbox off, turn it back on, and show you guys that it does work. And also, after you set up. Uh, XBLSE, which are which we already did in the video before, um, it will boot your console a couple like it will reboot a couple times and then it should work again. And also, if your Xbox has never been online before, then you don't need to buy a new KV just yet until it does get banned. And then when it gets banned, you're gonna have to buy a new KV and then do exactly what I just did. 
So it says reboot to finalize. You didn't get to see it because it turned off like really fast, but it said uh, reboot to finalize right there, and that is normal after you put a new KV on. So here it is rebooting again. And then, um, yeah, XBLSE enabled. Uh, days lifetime. That's good. So let's try to sign into my account. My account actually might be banned. I'm not sure. Yeah, your account has been banned. So, um, yeah, it's that right there. It shows you I'm online right now. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much all the tutorial. I'm going to, um, make a new, uh, profile right now to show you guys that, um, you can, like, go online and go on parties and stuff like that. And you don't even have to buy gold and all that good stuff. So that's like a random account that I just created. Um, I don't even want to care about it because it's not a real email. It's not really anything that I would be scared to lose. So, yeah, my name is Bobly Crane. So, you know, that's pretty awesome. But, um, I'm just going to show you guys that I am online after. Yep, I'm online now. And you can join parties and there's no gold on this account at all and uh... you can add people so I'll like I'll add my uh... my main account Oops. can't spell So yeah, there's my account. I'm not online on my other Xbox, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much all for this tutorial, guys. Um, one more thing, I'm going to say it again. So you guys can check out my, um, my page and everything. Please check that out. Give it a like. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my Xboxes and everything. I really appreciate that. And, um... Subscribe to me on YouTube if you want. Um, if you would like to contact me, here's my own. My contact information is like right here. All this good stuff. So I'll probably have it that in the description too. So there, guys, hit me up if you would like to buy an RGH console. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all. So, thanks for watching, everyone.